Welcome to this tutorial using masks inside of quads. I've just created a background scene for us to start working on. I will create a new quad, which I'll now scale down. And I'm going to projection map the picture. So let me give it a new asset and I'll roughly cover the area I'm going to map. And I'll just drop the opacity down so we can see the image behind it and click mask. And I'm just going to mask around my shape. Now this is a simple one to get you started because it's a rectangle. Let's make that a little bit bigger so we can see and make sure we've got all the corners covered. And I click edit mask. There we go. So that's looking pretty good. So now if I just click invert mask, you will see that my asset is now inside of the picture. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to lessen the harshness of that edge. So click edit mask again and just quickly refine that. And if I go down to the bottom here, you can see I can just soften the edges. So the left width and the right width and so on. And that just eases that projection into the area. So now I'm going to projection map this lamp. So create a new quad, move that across, change the asset, drop the opacity a little bit so I can see the scene, create my mask, there we go, and we just start clicking away. Now I'll speed this up a little bit here. Just increase the opacity a little bit more. Fabulous. So now we're going to mask the desk. So create a new quad. Just fill my screen with my asset. And we'll have the noise asset there. Drop the opacity. And let's start the masking process. And again, I'll speed this up here. So that looks pretty good. I can see the object. So I'll just full screen that so you can see. That looks great. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a scene which will store all of those values. By now you will have seen the scene session, so you'll know all about this. And very quickly, I'm just going to change some parameters in here and create a new scene. And as you'll see, those values are stored. So you can see very simply how you can build up complex projection maps.